<sighs> right my friends, how we doing? Welcome back to yet another reaction video. It's been an absolute pleasure to host you through 97 videos. We've got three more to go. And we start those three off with the third ranked NFL player in the entire league for 2022, Aaron the Badman Rogers. He's 38 years of age. He just had a, a, a fairly interesting, I'm led to believe, episode on Joe Rogan's The Joe Rogan Experience podcast. If you didn't know that, check it out. The only clip I saw was about his vaccination status. And you know what? After hearing him, after hearing him explain it, after hearing it from the horse's mouth, so to speak, it made a lot of sense. Either way, guys, let's get into the video. Who's the number one player in the NFL? Aaron Rodgers. What are we talking about? I'm going Aaron Rodgers, number one. Who should be the MVP? Honestly, it's hard not to go with the MVP. Didn't he get MVP the year before? Look at that. Always there or thereabouts, isn't he? I mean, this type of shot wouldn't... I mean, if that was Tom Brady running out, maybe I'd... Yeah, I'd most likely tear up, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Aaron Rodgers, I haven't really... I didn't really follow the Packers, you know. There's, there's a lot of Packers fans out there. There's a lot of Packers owners out there. But I just never really got behind him for whatever reason. Let's do it now. Oh, he threaded the needle! For the shot, left side, Lazard, oh. he's got it, touchdown! Pumps, throws, left. In fact, to be honest, I knew about Jordy Nelson before I knew about Aaron Rodgers. Side of the end zone, touchdown! A sensational throw! <laughs> Imagine if he just threw up a fucking... <laughs> Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, man, I must be going crazy. Because that would have been just absolutely hilarious. Probably would have cost him about $200,000 in fines, but still. Rodgers, he can make any throw on the field. Oh, that, that was a 45-yard bomb. It looked like he just literally just flicked it out of his hand. Rodgers is... Always poised, you know, That's ridiculous. Has, the, has the clutch gene. That did seem effortless. There was plenty of support and evidence for the league MVP to be the number one player on the top 100. But number three on this list is still quite an achievement. You got the best pass You're telling rush, me. you got the best coverage as a defensive back. It's irrelevant to him. Mm, no Devontae Adams this year. Still looking, throws it back over the middle. I beat a guy in like 1.9 seconds. Outside move, grab his inside shoulder. Oh my god. It's Miles Garrett. That is not just any player. What's he going to do here? Is he going to roll out? Is he going to see him coming and just go bang off his left foot and roll back out to the to the left? Arm over, no. I'm inside. No, he's not. <laughs> my bad. Well, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. Let's go. In nine seconds. Outside move, grab his inside shoulder, arm over, I'm inside. He's getting the ball off, throws an absolute dime to Devontae Adams on the sideline. Over, I think, Denzel's head. I love Denzel, not much you could do on that. Aaron Rodgers going against him and Devontae Adams, that, that was probably one of my uh, toughest covers, toughest uh, matchups and games. I mean, you feel like you're in position, but Aaron Rodgers, he's putting that ball on the money, I feel like, every time. A perfect ball is a perfect ball. That combination was certainly something. When he does it so consistently, you, know, you can't help but look at him and see that he's he's the he's the best in the league. Deep drop steps up, rainbows right side. Devonte makes the catch. Oh. I tell you what, there's only one receiver we've seen thus far, basically, and it's Devonte Adams, and he's left the team. He could do it all. Uh, a quarterback that can scramble, extend plays, and you know, turn plays that may have seemed like nothing to, you know, touchdowns. Just turn on the tape. That's <laughs> it. Is you know what I've just thought of? There's only two more players to go. There's only one more quarterback to go. Let me just leave that with you. This is Aaron literally being Aaron. Um, I don't think you can 
replicate this if you or anybody else, to be honest. Play broke down. Um, he didn't like what he saw on the on the first read. Nine. Looked left, rolled to his left, threw a dime uh, to the side. This man is the best quarterback I've ever seen in my life. Matt. <laughs> no question about it, man. Rogers gonna take it himself. No throws end zone. Deguara touchdown. That's the first problem with Aaron Rodgers. When you have a guy who's that mobile in the pocket, you really got to be aware of where he's at at all times. And any mistake you make, he's going to make you pay on it. And he's 38 years old. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to say he's over the hill by any stretch. But surely he would have been a little bit faster 10 years ago. Or maybe not. Even a crossbody, rolling to his left as a right Maybe he really is playing at the top mistake. of his game. But for a guy of this caliber, it's a touchdown every time. He's a good leader. He's having a great perspective today. The gratitude to There's something about that, that, that Green Bay helmet, isn't there? There really is. And that's probably because I've actually got one. It may be a replica, but uh, I've put it on before. I have, and you guys might remember that. Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. <laughs> this video is really exciting. This is the biggest package I've ever received from a subscriber, ever. It's from my man Ian Reid from Pompano Beach in Florida and um, yeah I don't know it's Riddell it says Riddell on it which can really only mean one thing right shit <laughs> is this a helmet no it can't be a helmet there's no way I'm gonna look up my man Ian Reid we're gonna shout him out where are you mate Holy shit. Alright, alright guys, here he is. Ian Reid, or Ran Ied. Okay, so his Instagram name is a play on words. R-A-N underscore I-E-E-D. Okay? He says, he came to me, he said he wanted to play rugby, he needed some tips. It's a little something that'll work well with your Packers gear. I'm playing, uh... Anyway, I know you'll be stoked for the shipment. Literally, I don't think anyone else could ever top what I'm sending you. Consider it a welcome to American football. Should take about a week. Keep me updated if there is any issues. Keep grinding, bro. Thanks for the awesome content. Rightio. Camera rolling? Yes, it is. Let's do this. Let's see what this absolute legend has sent me. Speed Authentic Helmet. Have we got a fucking helmet here? What? Okay. The Riddell. Oh shit! What? Am I about to put my first fucking football helmet on? The Riddell football helmet. A symbol of strength and spirit. As tough as, tough as the game itself. It is the ultimate collectible. So it's a collectible. Okay. Riddell has been the premier football helmet manufacturer for over 60 years. Now you can bring a piece of the game home with you. Whether you're a serious collector or avid fan, Riddell's authentic football helmet is a perfect addition to your home, office, or collection. Okay. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Uh, can I put it on? I don't know if I can put it on. Is this a proper... Oh, mate, you've absolutely outdone yourself here. You have outdone yourself, my friend. Wow. What do I do with this thing? <laughs> warning, do not remove this card until helmet is issued to player, and he has read and understands the warning statement on the reverse side of this card and inside the helmet. 
No helmet can prevent serious head or neck injuries a player might receive while participating in football. Do not use this helmet to butt, ram or spear an opposing player. This is in violation of the football rules and such use can result in severe head or neck injuries, paralysis or death to you and possible injury to your opponent. Contact in football may result in concussion brain injury, which no helmet can prevent. Um, okay, continue. Symptoms include loss of consciousness or memory, dizziness, headache, nausea or confusion. If you have symptoms, immediately stop playing and report them to your coach, trainer and parents. Do not return to a game or practice until all symptoms are gone and you have received medical clearance. Ignoring this warning may lead to another and more serious or fatal brain injury. Warning, this helmet must be properly fitted. Do not modify, change or alter this helmet in any way. Helmet protection can be reduced seriously by accidental, incidental or intentional contact with common substances, for example, certain solvents, cleaners, hair treatments. Then damage may not be visible to the user. Only use Riddell paints, cleaners, waxes, adhesives, guards and attachments as, in, as instructed. Now look guys, I don't, I still don't know whether this is an actual helmet to put on, to use in a game. But I've read this, I've read the warning, so we're going to take this off. Should I take it off? Yeah, I'll take it off. Should I? No, I won't take it off just yet. No, I will take it off. Here we go. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this really about to happen? <laughs> I'll be waiting for this. I have been freaking waiting for this for a long time. How do we even do this? What do people do? They, they unclip their thing, they go and then the, the, the thing comes across, isn't it? It can't be, it can't be a real helmet. Is this a real helmet? How do we... Okay. Oh. I don't know if it's going to fit. I've got a big head. Is it meant to... I don't, I don't know whether it's meant to put on or not. It's meant to be put on. I'm going to have to ask my man, but fuck it. Let's do this. Oh, Jesus, that's tight. Now. Oh, oh, look at me, I'm at the Packers. I don't know if this is meant to go on or not, guys. Don't, don't laugh at me too much if it's not. Around the bottom, okay. Oh, it's definitely tight. I guess that's what you need though, isn't it? You really need it to be like super, super tight. Where's this thing? Oh, down here. There we go. Well, it's not, um, hang on. <laughs> Even if this is just a collectible, <laughs> I don't care. I need it to be really tight, don't I? My hands are shaking, guys. I'm so, like, nervous. I should have done this on live stream. That would have been... Amazing. Okay, we got it.
Whoa! Let's go, boys! Knock it together! Oi! Moment of truth! Moment of truth! Can I do a juke? How does it feel? Feels alright, man! I can do this! <laughs> Give me that fucking ball! Give me that ball! Give me that ball! Absolutely stunning, mate. I, what a gift. There we go, that's what you do. Either way, let's look at his stats. Now I know I've done this probably, I'm going to say probably four or five times thus far in my reaction career. But his name's Aaron Charles Rogers. He was born on December 2nd, 1983. He's 30, 38 years of age, 6 foot 2, 225 pounds. He's solid back there in the pocket. Uh, played college in 2002 at Boot Community College in... Uh, Orland, California, part of the CCCAA. Then went to California, Golden Bears, University of California, Berkeley, from 03 to 04. Pick number 24 on the first round of the 2005 draft. He's been at the Packers ever since. Now that's not something you see every day. That's not even something we can say about Tom Brady. Since 2005... He's been at the same team. I could go through all his records. I won't. I've done it before. You guys know, at the end of the day, he ran a 4.71 second 40 yard dash. 34 and a half inches on the vertical, 9 foot 2 on the broad jump. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. Um, yeah, this is, well, this is beyond a joke, really. Uh, 213 career games. A win loss draw. Ratio of 139, 66, and 1. 55,360 passing yards. 449 passing touchdowns. Including a career high in 2020 with 48. And I'm going to say fourth highest in his career in 2021 with 37. So he's throwing the ball like, like he never has before. The thing that separates him from other quarterbacks, from basically any other quarterback, is his... Touchdown to interception ratio, which is ridiculous. I mean, to throw 48 touchdowns in 2020 to 5 interceptions. Come back in 2021, 37 touchdowns with 4 interceptions. The man holds onto the ball when he needs it, throws it out of bounds when he needs it, and gets in on a dime when he needs it. That's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. 48 and 5, 37 and 4. We don't see that. We don't see that often, not at all. 685 rushing attempts, 3,372 yards at an average of 4.9. 34 rushing touchdowns, including three last year and three the year before. He's been sacked 498 times, fumbled the ball 84, and lost it 35 of those times. So he's been, ta he's been sacked 500 times, lost the ball 35, he's played 213 games. I mean, what, two sacks a game? Loses the ball once every seven, six? It's not bad. Either way, the man, the myth, the legend, the bad man, as they say. Why is he called that? I haven't looked that up for a fair while. Rodgers has led the NFL six times in touchdown to interception ratio. 2011, 12, 14, 18, 2020, and 2021. Look, guys, I'd be here, I'd be here all day if I tried to portray exactly you know, what, what, what this says. I mean, the, the career is a stellar one. It's not over yet by any means. And actually, come to think of it, what is this deal that he's just... It was two years, wasn't it? Was it two... Was it Was it two years? 
On March 16th, 2022, he officially signed his contract extension. <coughs> oh! Jeepers creepers. Where'd you get those peepers? Nick Minute. Uh, so, he signed his contract extension three years, which replaced the final year of his existing contract. So he was, he was coming up with one year left in 2022, signed three years, taking him through to 2025, with 150.8 million. The new contract made him the highest paid player in North American sports history on an annual basis, surpassing the NBA's Damian Lillard's 49 million per annum. Holy shit. So we've got, we got Patrick Mahomes on 4477 four, four, seven over 10 years, which is, what, 47.7 million. We've got Damian Lillard's... 49 million and then we've got Aaron Rodgers 50 million absolutely unbelievable okay here we go since becoming a starter in 2008 Rodgers has become known for his unique touchdown celebration which he and his teammates have dubbed the championship belt after a scoring play Rodgers celebrates by making a motion as if, as if he is putting an invisible championship belt on around his waist but that's nothing to do with his bad man you know what, I'm just going to go um, out on a limb here and say it's the fashion in which he plays. What we do, to have 80,000 people here, 15 million at home watching us. How special is that? He's a different type of person, uh, the way how you take control of the, of the offense. It's time for one of our patented drives right here. Yeah, I'm six good. minutes, touchdown, QB draw for the two-point Go up 17. And, Central, huh? When he talk, he don't speak a lot, but when he do speak, everybody listen. Hey, Amen. So they're up by 10, they've got six minutes to go, and that's the way he wants to finish out the game. Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. Way to be aggressive. Huh? Way to be aggressive. Four down. Hey, hey, man. Man. Two hey, scores. Man. You, that was you, man. That was all you. I was watching him play against the Ravens. And he put a ball in between three people. And I was like, man, that might be one of the craziest throws I've ever seen. And just putting the ball in sticky situations and always coming out through the other side. He's just the best at that. What a terrific throw. If I got to be that quarterback that just has fun, you know, every single day and puts a smile. It does look you know, as if he's having faces, a lot of fun. And win games, that's Aaron Rodgers for you. In fact, I've heard him say a few times before, that's fun. Oh, that's fun. Oh, this is fun. And I thought, I've never actually heard someone describe things like that. But, uh, well, he is fun. Really. This is real. The old man can still run. His swagger, the way he plays the game. Aaron Rodgers has like that power to be like, I own the Bears. I own Chicago. I said, I still own you. He said it. He said, I still own you. Rodgers not only owns the Bears, he owns the Packers' record for career touchdown passes. And there it is, number 443, the historic milestone in an iconic career for a legendary franchise, Aaron Rodgers, the most prolific touchdown passer in Green Bay Packers history. And who did he overtake? Brett Favre, yeah? In Week 16 victory over the Cleveland Browns, he threw his 443rd career touchdown pass, passing Brett Favre for the most all-time career touchdown passes in Green Bay Packers history. Congrats, brother. One of the best to do it of our generation. Makes it look easy. His arm talent's amazing. I think he's definitely a top three quarterback ever to live. going to go that far but he is top three in 2022 thank you for watching guys it's been an absolute pleasure i've taken far too much of your time already uh and the next one we're looking at aaron donald and that must mean that there's only one man one myth one legend to take the number one spot and i'm not going to go there just yet because it's going to be fucking special thanks for watching see you soon